All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are trying basic handling. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump inside and get started with our flight training. Um, this is, let me just show you real quick here, basic handling in the flight training. We're going to start with the easy stuff before we work our way to the complicated stuff because I am not confident enough to do too much yet. I'm still learning, so we'll go ahead and jump into this and... Uh, Get started. Let's uh, try to go ahead and uh, see what we can do. I'm uh, not the best at this, so I figured I, it's time to go back. If you haven't watched my streams, you would know that <clears throat> I probably need a lot of basic training. I'm always missing something. I'm just an aviation Welcome enthusiast, I'm not a real-world pilot. But I do enjoy aviation, so... <clears throat> Basic control panel. Okay. Basically. The basic controls panel is a useful reminder of the button layout for the devices you're currently using. Now try to find and open the camera panel in the toolbar. The camera panel allows you to access the various views and camera modes of the simulation. Okay. Go ahead and close all the panels for now. Right now, we are in the external view mode. Let's switch to cockpit view next. In front of you is the yoke, the primary means of controlling the aircraft. In the simulation, you'll be controlling the aircraft. Wow, they ain't kidding with basics, huh? So let's hide the yoke for now. Some instruments allow multiple interactions. For example, rotating a dial clockwise or counterclockwise. In these cases, you need to lock the cursor onto them in order to interact. For example, take a look at the clock in the middle of the dashboard. Go ahead and lock the cursor on it. Now change the clock time. You can unlock the cursor once you're ready. For now, we're done with the cursor, so go ahead and hide it. All right, as we've seen, when you want to look around you, it's easy to rotate the camera. But you can also move it freely in the cockpit to get a better view of anything you want to see. Even through a window to look outside. Pro tip, once you find a camera position you like, you can save a shortcut to easily get back to that view anytime. Now, reset the camera to its original position. Then try switching to your custom one again. Whoops. Oh, uh, all one. Right. There we go. That all the main camera functions available in the simulation. Oh, cool. Try to familiarize yourself with them a bit more. Then okay. reset the camera to its original position whenever you're done. So, if we want, you go all that. And then... And the next one we can do... That's pretty cool. All right, um, bam. Great. Oh, nice. Well, I got an A in that. Let's continue. Uh, I finally did something. Basic handling. I didn't know it was that basic, but let's continue on. <laughs> so far, so good. Maybe we can do um, another one of. The Let's see what we can get through here. Alright. That's pretty cool. So, to set your camera, control, alt, one. 
whatever the position may be. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else Let's they got. Let's get you familiar with the aircraft, a Cessna 152, and a few commands to navigate it through the skies. That sounds good. In front of you is the yoke. The yoke is like a steering wheel, more or less. Turn it left or right to control the ailerons and bank the aircraft into turns. Look at the trailing edge of the wings while turning the yoke to see the effect <coughs> on the ailerons. These are the ailerons. Okay. Cool. Now, the difference between the yoke and a steering wheel is you can pull or push on the yoke. This controls the elevator at the back of the aircraft to make it climb or descend. Okay. Look at the horizontal stabilizer while you pull on the yoke. You can see how the horizontal the stabilizer. Nice. Cool. Down at your feet are the rudder pedals. They steer the aircraft when you're on the ground. The upper part of the pedals also control your brakes. In the air, they control the rudder at the end of the vertical stabilizer to yaw the That's aircraft. These. This is mostly for small corrections, for coordinating turns or compensating for a plane's tendency to pull left during takeoffs and climbs. Look at the vertical tail while operating the pedals to see the effect on the rudder. Great. Cool. Last but not least, the throttle is located near the center of the cockpit. Pushing forward will increase power. Pulling back will decrease power. First, look at the throttle and select it. Okay. Keep it selected and push it forward to increase power. Power is increased. Now pull it back to decrease power. Hmm. Power is decreased. Cool. Now we'll do the same without focusing on it. Deselect the throttle. Look away from the throttle and increase power. Set your throttle to idle. Excellent. Cool. That's our RPM indicator. This tells you how fast the engine is spinning in hundreds of revolutions per minute. All right, cool. Next, take a look at your current speed on the airspeed indicator. This it's is our airspeed indicator. Panel. Okay. That's our altimeter. It's on the right side of the main instrument panel. The altimeter has three hands, similar to a clock. The long, thick pointer indicates 100 foot intervals. The short, thick one is 1,000 foot intervals. And the long, 1, thick one, 10,000 foot intervals. And 10,000. That's all for today. Okay. Next time, we'll see how it feels in the air. Cool. We got another A. Sweet. Let's do uh, one more. And uh, see what that's like. We get to go flying. Cool. Okay. First things first, <coughs> get familiar with your surroundings. Out All right. side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. I'm 
joystick. How do you do joystick? Use the quick hold. I don't have a quick hold. Uh oh. Oh. This is Red Rock territory. I see. Yeah. Sure is. Spot the Sedona Airport. The runway there it is. should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Use the smart can there. Hold joystick button one. Okay, let's move on. already talked about basic controls while we were on the ground. All right. Time to see how it all feels in the air. The aircraft is currently set to a cruise attitude. The position it should be in for regular flight. All right, now let's try banking into a turn by moving the yoke. I'll go first. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Now, is it my turn? Yeah, or no? I think they did, no? Um, did it freeze? She just did a left hand turn, didn't she? Is it my turn? Oh, she's, she's doing a right turn right now again, sorry. There we go. Pretty cool. Alright, she made her right turn. Is she gonna do it again? Probably. She's keeping good airspeed. Is it my turn yet? Maybe she's making a couple of turns? Oh, there's the airport there. <coughs> hmm. Looks like we're going around the airport. There's the airport right there. Let the instructor demonstrate a right hand turn. Okay, well she did it twice. This is the third right hand turn. Maybe I have to do it three times? Hmm. She's looking good so far. Let's see. Oh, there she goes again. Okay. Is she going to let me fly soon? <laughs> that is... Okay, that's a left turn. What's she doing now? Let the de demonstrate a right hand turn. Okay, now we're going left. Hmm. I wonder what's happening right now. She's 
She's got pretty good handling of the aircraft here. Pretty interesting. Now she's doing another left turn. Is this what I'm going to have to do? Or is she just showing me turns? As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Okay. And that's it? Is she gonna let me fly or what are we doing here? <laughs> what kind of training is this? Alright. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do is just watch what she's doing before we do it. I guess I'm just anxious. Usually they do one instruction and then let you fly, one instruction let you fly. Um, this is a little bit different though. It's kind of just like her flying. Anything else? Are we done training yet? What is this? I gotta say, this is a uh, Pretty wild. Alright, all right, is it going to be my turn now? Maybe we have to wait until we're at the edge of the airport before she lets me take over. Let's see. Let's see what she tells us to do here. Waiting for further instruction. Is she gonna let us fly yet, or what? Come on! It's oh my god! I'm sorry, I know I'm a little bit impatient with this, but uh, <laughs> let me fly! I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly! Okay, what the heck, man. Alright, we'll just let it continue there. So, yeah. Alright. Comes another turn. How many turns are we going to do? Is this, like, frozen or something? Because I'm about to be done with this. Am I doing something wrong here? Yeah, I get it, lady. We turn. You always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Got it. You said that. Is it my turn yet? Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Oh my God! It's about time. Jeez. Thank God. Okay. Gently pull on the yoke to climb. Give it a try. Oh, okay. I just climb. Excellent. For the descent, it's the same principle, except you're pushing on the yoke. Go ahead. Gently pitch down. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> I'm flying over in circles. All right. Oh, uh, whoops. Now that you're more familiar with the aircraft and the surroundings, the next step is to go deeper into handling and techniques. Yeah, that's true. Soon enough, you'll be able to enjoy trips all on your own. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, it's a B. Yeah, because it was a little bit rough, I gotta admit. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're getting through flight school with two A's, one B. I would take it, you know. Uh, we'll continue this training in another video. Stay tuned for that coming soon. And a deeper dive on the Polaris, the Coronado uh, Polaris PC-12 engine startup. Uh, we're going to do a deeper dive on that from all the way uh, cold and dark to engine startup um, until ready for taxi. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're going to continue to dive deeper and deeper in the Polaris and get to know it more and more. And stay tuned for another video on training, which uh, will cover altitude pitch, turns and rolls, and whatever else we can get through. If we can get to power settings, uh, we'll go to that. But at least we'll try these two next. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, check out my live streams, too, if you want to. All right, thank you. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.